So this video is going to be a little short today since it's already 96 degrees out and counting. <laughs> but anyways, this is my 1992 Honda Accord. Went to go start it and I was getting this flashing D4 light up here on the dash and it wouldn't let me turn my car over. So I looked up a couple videos and mine was similar but a little bit different so hopefully this helps whoever's got this 92 model um the relay is a little bit different than i think the earlier 90s like the 90 91s um but anyways if you go underneath the dash there's your already taking it down but there's a uh, your cruise control module here with your little relay uh, it just bolts up underneath with there's two 10 millimeter bolts there they are on the floor and it's best just to completely disconnect it and get it out of your way but I'm stubborn so I didn't do that um, get this out of here so you can see a little bit better. I'm gonna need a little bit of flexibility to get under here. This one's kind of a backbreaker. Not too bad, but if you look under here, if we can get a better view, those are the two relays right there. The one on your left. Is the one I had to replace. That one is your your um, fuel pump relay, and that's what went bad. And this one here on the right is, I, I guess, is some sort of accessory relay. But you'll have to take that one down first to get to this one, or at least I did, anyways. And there's bolt or a nut there. Up in the corner, right there, and get the flashlight tucked away between the two. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Yeah, right there, if you can see it. There's another 10 millimeter, and that'll let you drop this accessory relay out of your way to get to the fuel pump relay. Then you can take that one down and replace it. I got it at O'Reilly's for about, it was about $60. Um, and I've seen some people that were able to repair it, um, but I'm not that advanced. So when it comes to relays and electrical components, I, I like just to get brand new stuff. Um, but if you are on a budget, then that's understandable. But anyways, here's your two mounting points for this cruise control module. Are right there on the top. And then right underneath the dash, there's this little tab here with the threaded hole. And you can drop that out of your way and get to what you need to get to before you die of heat exhaustion out here in Texas. Oh. But everything works good now. So, let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.